Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Spot Connection with another summon of building a team. Last time we we uh, showed off two uh, two teams that were had been built uh, well well in advance, and I said never got hadn't gotten to play them yet. The hand a the hand team and a Gotham City team. Uh, both teams lost, um, but the hand team did did fairly well. Um, And, uh, whereas, uh, I managed to, in one game, with the Gotham City team, actually make a clue token on one of the case files, um, a lot of the problem was bad, was bad die rolls. It happens. It's a, it's a fact in playing games with dice, so, you know. Anyways, we got, uh, two teams here today, a Thunderbolts team and a Marksman team. We'll start off with the Thunderbolts team. First off, we've got Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. Well, just Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. She's not. It's not. Not clear if she's Contessa in the MCU. This is the the uh, the MCU version. This is Ju Julie Louis Dreyfus's character in uh, the various uh, the recent uh, Marvel shows and movies. Anyways. She comes in at 40 points, has the shield team ability, as well as the shield, thunderbolts, politician, and spy keywords, as well as the trait, nefarious recruiting. We need to, we're going to these glasses. When establishing theme teams, characters on your starting for force with the assassin, soldier, or spy keywords gain the thunderbolts keyword. Okay. Looking at the dial, which is four clicks deep, we've got four clicks of stealth, four clicks of mastermind, four clicks of the special power. Call me Val, but keep it in your head. Pro pro probability, probability control. When Val, when Val uses it, she may count range and draw a line of fire from the square of, friendly, of a friendly character with the Thunderbolts keyword. Okay. That's uh, quite handy. There was a uh, a Star Lord that uh, did the similar did a, had a similar uh, um, special power or trait with, um, for, but with the, dealing with the Guardians keyword. There was a long time. I used, I used to use that figure a lot. Next up, we've got Orb. Being all, being all uh, friendly and waving at you, wearing his uh, giant eyeball uh, helmet. Orm comes in at 45 points. He's got uh, the Assassin, Cosmic, Monster, Mystical, and Vehicle keywords, keywords as well as Improved Movement, Ignores Elevation, um, I believe that's uh, Outdoor Blocking, and... Uh, Adjacency. Uh, we got uh, a couple traits. First up is the Watcher's Stolen Eye. Orbs roll attack rolls uh, of uh, two ones, snake eyes, are crit critical hits instead of critical misses. When orb attacks, you may re replace one die in his attack roll with a one. Once per game, you may choose that a friendly character's Critical miss becomes a critical hit. If you do, Orb can't use this trait this game. And the next trait, Stunt Rider in Another Life. Charge. Flurry, but only if Orb crosses the rim of elevated terrain this turn. When Orb attacks, modify his attack plus one for each of the following he moved through this turn. Hindering terrain, blocking terrain, and characters. He can be, he can honestly be a, a, a significant threat. Looking at his dial, we've got four clicks of running shot and three clicks of force blast on speed, four clicks of energy ex energy explosion and, and then three clicks of precision strike on attack, four clicks of initial deflection, three clicks of super senses on defense, and four clicks of uh, prob probability control on uh, damage. And this is, is generally speaking a, a, a support piece, but. He's got decent stats. He he can uh, he can do work. Uh, 
especially if uh, you've got a Frenchie on him, giving him a close combat expert. And you can do that and do his, uh, you know, make him charge with close combat expert and, you know, have a 14 attack with that. Uh, charge flurry with a 14 attack. With a 14 attack, uh, and four damage each attack. Oof. Next up, we've got Militant. This is a character that uh, I kind of wanted to see just for, for just for shits and giggles, really. It's from um, this is from a uh, J. Mike Straczynski uh, story on uh, in, in his run on Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, Hydra made cl basically made clones of. Cap, Hawkeye, Iron Man, Thor, and their costumes were uh, the, the their, their regular costumes, but with Hydra's color scheme. So, anyways, Militant comes in at 50 points. He has the Hydra team ability as well as the Hydra Assassin and Soldier keywords. He has a trait. Hi, oh, he has two traits. Hydra four. When a friendly character with the Hydra team ability is KO'd, modified, modify Militant's damage by plus one until the end of your next turn. And next up, we've got Hydra's Super Soldier. Leadership. When Militant uses it, uses it and succeeds, after resolutions, he may generate a Hydra agent from uh, the Avengers 60th set. Which, if I remember correctly, I, I don't have any of them. I actually bought them. I didn't pull two. I, didn't, I think I only bought two or three boosters of uh, the set, but um, if I remember correctly, they have three clicks of running shot and three clicks of energy, energy deflection at 15 points. So, Looking at his dial, we've got three clicks of charge and three clicks of flurry on speed. On attack, we've got three clicks of super spring and three clicks of prisoner strike. On defense, we've got three clicks of defend with a, nine, with a printed 19 and three clicks of combat reflexes. And on damage, we've got special power. We strike together. Power. Move a friendly character up with the Hydra uh, team ability up to, up to half its speed. Okay. And that that's it for what all, for for him on damage. Moving on, though, we've got Vigilante from Peacemaker uh, series on. This is, in fact, the first ver the first time uh, this version of Vigilante has uh, been given a, a figure in uh, Heroclix, so it's kind of cool. Would have liked to see a uh, comic version, but they don't. But DC doesn't tend to doesn't often use that version of uh, the character. Anyways, Vigilante comes in at 50 points. He has the Suicide Squad team ability, as well as improved targeting. Uh, may target out of, out of adjacency. He also has the key, uh, Suicide Squad Assassin martial, and Martial Artist keywords. And we've got uh, we've got a trait. Vigilante? I uh, don't know that person. Um, Vigilante starts to get the game with a mass token. Shape change, but succeeds on a 3 through 6 if Vigilante has a mass token. When he uses it and fails, remove the, his mass token. Okay. Then looking at the dial, we've got uh, three clicks of the special. Uh, we start off with three clicks of special speed power. Who's the guy behind the trash can? Uh, granting uh, vigilante stealth as well as uh, being able to be placed for adjacent to a terrain marker within range for free. We got three. Then after uh, that, we've got three clicks of sidestep. On attack, we've got three clicks of Blaze Claws Fangs and three clicks of uh, Penetrate Psychic Blast. On defense, three clicks of Combat Reflexes with three clicks of uh, Initial Deflection. And on damage, we've got three clicks of uh, Range Combat Expert and three clicks of the Special Power. We only kill bad people. Usually. Exploit Weakness. When Vigilante hits, modify his uh, damage. Plus one if one or more of the hit characters damage a friendly character this turn since your last turn. So 
So he be a nice uh, retaliatory figure. So on on the on the latter of his, end of his dial. Moving on though, we've got Ronan. Ronan comes in at uh, 50 points. He has the Marksman, Shield, Assassin, Martial Artist keywords as well as improved movement in those characters. He's got a trait. My job has always been to hurt people. Sidestep. When a friendly character is KO'd until the end of your next turn, uh, Ronan can use Charge and Flurry. Okay. Looking at the dial, we've got, it's six clicks deep, we've got a uh, full dial of uh, stealth. And full dial of special po special attack power. They got Thanos. You got me. Blaze Claws Fangs, Steel Energy. Once per turn, when Ronan is KOs at a, a character, after resolutions, he may move up to two squares and make a close attack. Oof. That's, uh, yeah. Luckily, it's once per turn, but, uh... Then on uh, defense, we've got five clicks of uh, combat reflexes, followed by the special defense power, Don't Give Me Hope. It's a stop click. Also uh, gives free, replace Ronin with a character named Clint Barton or Hawkeye of equal or less points than Ronin on their last non-KO click. If you do, heal that character two clicks. Then on damage, we've got four clicks of... Uh, uh, perplexed on the middle of the dial, and uh, one click of ranged combat expert on the ba on the last click. And because with that uh, stop click, we we uh, in the event of being able to uh, replace um. <clears throat> Ronan will, will we have the perfect replacement. Hawkeye. This is uh, Bullseye Master as Hawkeye from Dark Avengers. Um, we'll be look we'll only be looking looking at the last letter half of his dial. Um, but He's got the team player wildcard team ability, so maybe we can use some of his some of his allies team abilities. But uh, we get three clicks of stealth on a speed, one click of energy explosion, three two clicks of the special power. I never miss my target. When Hawkeye attacks a single target and misses, after resolutions, deal like her one penetrating damage. Um, Three clicks alternating between energy deflection and uh, super senses on defense, and three clicks of uh, range combat expert. Okay. Also, uh, Ronan will be uh, equipped with the trick arrows. This is the first big equipment from uh, Disney Plus Next Phase. How they work. Uh, force can contain may contain one one trick arrow equipment. Once per game when this is equipped, place up the three trick arrow cards face down. You may you may look at them. When this character hits, you may flip over a face down uh, trick arrow card and performance on reveal effect. So probably the on re the arrow probably have the big. Um, after you uh, choose a square adjacent to a hit target after resolutions, the character may use Quake as free as they occupy the chosen square, and after resolutions, generate a blocking terrain marker in that square. Too dangerous. Um, choose a hit character instead of normal damage. Deal three damage to the chosen character and all characters adjacent to them. Knock back each damage character one square. Okay. And probably also Sonic. On reveal, choose a character and all opposing characters adjacent to them. Uh, give those characters an action token. Putty's a possibility for uh, blocking, uh, hindering train marker that has to be broken away from. Um, 
Acid is a possible possibility. Redu uh, reduce damage reduction by uh, one less. Electrical um, de uh, deals two penetrating damage to a chosen character as uh, a chosen hit character and uh, an opposing character within two squares of, the, of that character. USB destroyed equipped uh, instead of normal damage destroyed an equipped uh, equipment equipped to a hit character. So yeah. They're actually pretty decent, so. However, though, moving on to our last figure, we've got Bullseye. This is just Bullseye. Beat himself. Bullseye is Bullseye. Comes in at 60 points. We've seen him here, seen him on here a while, a few times. He's got the Sinister Syndicate key ability, the Dark Avenger, Sinister Syndicate, the Hand, Thunderbolts, Assassin and Martial Arts keywords, as well as improved targeting North characters, and a rally trait that keys off of opposing attack rolls with a 6. Uh, when he makes a ranged attack, he may remove two of his rally dice to replace both dice in the attack in the attack roll. On uh, speed, we've got four clicks of, of running shot, followed by two clicks of sidestep. Four clicks per, on, on attack, four clicks of presumed strike, followed by two clicks of blade lost fangs. On defense, three clicks of well power, followed by three clicks of super senses. And on damage, we got three clicks of special power. You still don't get it, do you? Range combat expert as, and modified range plus three. And then we get three more clicks of regular range combat expert. And next up, we got our, our marksman team. First off, we've got Lucky. Lucky the pizza dog. Lucky comes in at 20 points. He has the Marksman, Animal, and Martial Arts keyword, as well as a trait, as well as two traits. First up is Pizza, pizza retreat, Retriever. At the beginning of the game, generate a pizza object. When a friendly character would use the trick arrow equipment before revealing the card, you may roll a d6. On a 4 through 6, shuffle a friendly used trick arrow card into that uh, character's uh, unused trick arrow cards and set them face down. The other trait, um, dog's intuition. Opposing characters in four squares can use shape change. The pizza object um, <clears throat> can heal a, uh, a character holding it for, for one click for free. And looking at the dial, lucky dial, dial we've got three clicks of uh, plasticity, Three clicks, clicks of the special defense power, a jolt of luck, super, which grants super senses and mastermind, and three clicks of um, enhancement. Come in handy. Next up, we've got Kate Bishop. Kate comes in at uh, 40 points. She has the. Marksman, Young Avengers, Martial Arts, and Spy keywords, as well as a trait. Is this one fine? I'm using this one. Adjacent friendly characters with the Marksman keyword can use Enhancement. Looking at her dial, it's uh, five clicks deep. We've got three clicks of Stealth, followed by two clicks of Sidestep. Two clicks of Super Senses, followed by three clicks of uh, um, Combat Reflexes. And three clicks at the back end of the dial of uh, Range Combat Expert. Next, we've got Clint Barton. Clint comes in at 50 points and has the Avengers Initiative and uh, Shield team abilities, as well as the Avengers, Marksman, Shield, and Martial Arts and Spy keywords. Uh, we've got a trait. There's always an arrow for the job. Free. She's an attack power Clint on Clint Barton's card. This turn, Clint Barton can use the chosen attack, can use the chosen power. Looking at the dial, we've got full dial of running shot. Uh, the attack powers in question that can be uh, utilized whenever are uh, penetrate psychic blast, energy explosion, and uh, um, precision strike. The the first and last one will likely be used the most. On uh, defense, we've got three clicks of uh, energy deflection and three clicks of willpower, and that is the dial. Next up, we've got 
Chase figure, Kate and Lucky. Kate and Lucky comes in at 50 points. It has the Marksman, Young Avengers, Animal, Martial Arts, and Spy keywords. Uh, we've got two traits. First off, wow, you like pizza. At the beginning of your turn, if there are no pizza objects on the map, roll a d6. An opponent uh, chooses an unoccupied square up to the number of squares away from Kate, oh, from Kate and Lucky's uh, equal to the amount, and generate a pizza object in the chosen square. Next, food. You want food, of course. Free. Make an attack, but only to target an opposing character that picked up or destroyed a pizza object since your last turn. If a friendly character named Lucky is not on, not on the map, you may ins you may instead generate a uh, basically Lucky on his uh, starting book. Then, looking at the dial. We've got two clicks of stealth, two clicks of uh, running shot, and two clicks of size on speed. On attack, we've got the full dial of uh, uh, prisoner strike. On uh, defense, we've got two clicks of combat reflexes and four clicks of uh, super senses. On damage, we've got two clicks of the special power. Hi, yeah, we're, uh, I got pizza. Shape change. When Kate and Lucky uses it, if they are holding a, a pizza object, instead, the Incre increase the result by plus two, and if they succeed, destroy the pizza object. This is followed by two clicks of uh, range combat expert, and then two clicks about wit. And likely they will be uh, copying. Most likely uh, the Avengers Initiative uh, team lead, but uh, there's a decent possibility of copying uh, Shield. Moving on, though, we've got. Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop comes in at 65 points, has the team player wildcard team ability, as well as the marksman, young Avengers, martial arts, and spy keywords. We got two traits. There's two. Yeah. A plunger arrow. When Kate Bishop equip, equips a trick arrow, she may set an additional trick arrow, arrow card face down for that equipment. Next, we have Ringing the Bell. If Kate Bishop has not been moved or placed this turn, she has improved targeting, ignores el elevated, hindering in characters, and modify her, her range by plus two. Okay. Looking at uh, the dial, we've got seven clicks deep. We've got uh, four clicks of running shot and three clicks of sidestep. On uh, the first, uh, first two and last two clicks of of her attack dial, we've got special power Flurry of Arrows, which transfer pre precision strike, and you can have, as a range attack, you may have range and make two range attacks. Then three clicks of uh, penetrating psychic blast in the, in the middle on uh, damage. Uh, <clears throat> on defense, we've got uh, two clicks of super senses, three clicks of combat reflexes, and two clicks of uh, willpower. Then on damage, we got a full dial of uh, range combat expert. And finally, we've got Clint Barton. Clint comes in at 75 points as the Avengers Initiative uh, team ability, as well as the Avengers Marksman Shield martial arts, uh, martial arts keywords, um, and improved targeting Norse characters. We also have a trait, coin trick, free, make a range attack using, using incapacitate. That's really good. Especially uh, early in the dial with, uh, yeah, we'll get we'll into that. Look at the dial, we've got three clicks of running shot, three clicks of sidestep on speed. On attack, we've got three clicks of the special power. My go-to weapon is a stick and two, uh, is, is two sticks and a string, so, which grants, uh, Clint puts in a strike, modifies attack and damage plus one when attacking one or more equipped characters. Okay, that could, that's followed by three clicks of uh, penetrating psychic blast. We, on defense, we get a full dial of uh, 
initial deflection, then on damage we got three clicks of range combat spirit, and then three clicks of leadership. And so yeah, that uh, on those first two clicks, uh, or those first three clicks, he's uh, can he get a decent uh, attack value, and will likely be equipping, will likely equip uh, the super arcade bishop with the uh, trick arrows. But uh, anyways, that's gonna do it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Blue Sky, Instagram, and Mastodon can be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off. Say, oh, also my links to my Patreon and PayPal can be found in the description box below. But this is Rock and Roll Spock signing off, saying, live long and rock hard.